we gotta play, play, play. We gotta play just to make it today. That's why we play. Play. <laughs> Can I get a yup? No, an actual yup. This one's yup. How about? <laughs> well, it is. Yup. This one's the bigger one. Can I get a yup? Yup. <laughs> Let's go. It's a no fear Friday. We are gonna punch together right. fear in the mouth today. Why? Because we're gonna live by the faith of the Son of God. No room for fear in this house, your house. That's right. We're gonna go after it together in God's word, right? That's right. A good word from God's word. And then at the end of the show, what we gonna do? We, we confess the word over our lives. Yep, we, you and, uh, we want you to get there with us. Be right back. Coffee and Confessions, okay, where we like drink coffee. And we confess the word of God over your day. Take a sip. Go ahead. I know you want to. It's fine. Just wait. All right. Now we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she wanted to do that. It's now, fine. hey, we've got a good word. I'm so glad you're here. We do this show for you. We've been waiting on you. So glad you're here. Subscribe if you're new today. Shout out down below. Hey, I'm so-and-so watching from over here. We'd love to shout you out on Tuesdays. We do that every Tuesday. And look, uh, we've got a good word from God's word for you. Right. It comes from today on a No Fear Friday, Hebrews chapter 4. Time out. Today's Friday. It's Comment Friday. Comment Friday is today. We do comments on Friday from all our viewers. Why? Because we love it when you're interactive, you get involved and share. Like something that God shared with right. you or, you know, all our listeners read the comments too. So they love to see what you're saying. You can minister to others. Absolutely. And just, we love to see what God's doing out there. It's a part of a family. How you're receiving and yes. have a little fun along the way too. So Heidi said, what a beautiful message and blessing today. Thank you. Heidi, we're glad you're in. That's right. Madison says, I used to struggle with this a lot, but today's message, I felt God's joy in my spirit. Ooh. Can't stop smiling. Love it. Yes. Mike Chaz said, prayers for my pastors. <laughs> Thank you for the prayers. Because you know, yop spelled backwards. Anyways, Okay. yop spelled backwards is pray. Okay, so I got a couple comments on the fact that you always say on the flip side. Flip side? Okay, so Kat and Mike both say that that actually comes from... Um, a DJ when a DJ would flip over the record to the B I'm side. I'm all over it. Whoops. <laughs> or what you got sometimes okay, I mean, could you, you do that with a tape? tape too? But I don't think DJs ever really used tapes, did they? I think they didn't they? I, don't I think, think so. they did. Maybe they did. I don't know. I don't know. Probably and then Tamara flip said side. Thank you for speaking this message, pastors, and an example of how God is using this ministry. Uh God's blessings to you both. We receive the blessings and yes. thank you that Tamara, you're in. Um, God's doing a good thing here, and we're glad that you're with us today. It's a No Fear Friday, and so together we are going to get into the Word. Today we've got the Word of the Day from Hebrews chapter 4. And any time of the, the show you are ready to go, we want you, as I point at you with this giant pencil, <laughs> we want you to be interactive, comment, and be involved. That's right. Hebrews 4.10 says, For he who has entered his rest has mm. himself also ceased from his work, as God did from his. Whoa. So this really, this verse right here completely changes how society views work. I mean, if if we let society control the way that we function, we're working 24 seven, seven days a week. There's no time for family. There's no time to relax. There's no time for anything like that. We got to work, work, work. Yeah. But here we see just as God did as an example to us, yes. there's a time to work and then there's a time to rest. Yeah, I mean, if you wait until all your work's done, then you're never going to rest. Right. And so there's an aspect of faith that's the same way. We're believing, we're pressing forward in faith. You, you're a person of faith. I'm sure you're watching the show. If you're not a person of faith, you're going to learn how to be a person of faith. And you're in here with us in Coffee and Confessions because we're word people. We're faith people. We love to speak the word of God and use it as a weapon against the enemy. But, right. you know, you can even be exhausted in doing that. Oh, you know, think about this. Uh, there are uh, six days of creation and God mm -hmm. rested on the seventh day. Uh, why? Why did he do that? He did that not because he was finished, but that he was just done. He was done. Like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm entering into rest now. 
And so he wasn't finished. There was still more work and things for God to do later right. beyond the seventh day of creation. But he just said, I'm done. Uh, and so that's what we need to do in our faith. We need to, we need to find rest because when, when you rest, when you enter into, isn't it funny that rest is something you have to enter into? Mm -hmm. It's not natural. It's not natural for our natural bodies. No, it's not. Uh, it, it, scripture all, it talks a lot about us finding a pace and rhythm that's sustainable right. in life. If we look at Jesus, he had a pace and a rhythm to life that was sustainable. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something that even Jesus didn't keep just going in an unending pace and rhythm. Right. He, uh, if there's not breaks, uh, the pauses is as important in any piece of music as strumming the notes or playing the note or making the sound or singing. Where you put the pauses is just as important. Right. And so in the same way, when we believe God, we are entering into a rest, trusting that God is doing the work. He has right. done the work and he is going to see us through to victory. Mm -hmm. It can be exhausting fighting the good fight of faith, but really what the scripture says in Hebrews is this says strive to enter into his rest. So strive is another way of saying fight. He says fight to enter rest. Right. Oh my gosh. So that's so good. That's so good. I mean, yeah. so there's a point where we're believing for something. We're speaking the word, you know, we, we coffee and confessions, we believe in speaking the word. Yes. Um, but there is a, a point where you speak the word and then you have to enter into the faith that, okay, I'm now believing that God is acting on his word. I now am trusting that God is doing a work. And so you can rest, but still be fighting at the yes. same time. Isn't that kind of funny? Because we we think, okay, we can either work or we can sleep. <laughs> yeah. We, you know, and a lot of times if we don't start work, stop working, then we just kind of crash. Um, but there's a point where we're believing and we're standing and we're quoting and we're, you know, doing everything we can. But there's a point where we have to, you know, for our own health, yeah. just say, you know what, God, I trust you. And that is actually more faith for us to say, you know what, I'm just going to rest and trust that God is finishing this work. Um, that is actually more faith Heck than yeah. us sitting there and, 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 you know, fighting a horse that's already defeated. Absolutely. Uh, there's a place of rest that we enter into. The scripture says we should have joy and peace in our believing. Right. So even as we are fighting the fight of faith or we're making our confessions or, or we're doing our, uh, we're reading the word, spending time with God or whatever, there's still a point and a position that we're doing it from that's a place of rest. Right. The greatest form of faith is actually rest and trust. Mm -hmm. When you're rested, you're trusting that God's got this. Right. Like I'm not sitting there it's at a, late at night obsessing and thinking about everything I have to do. It's not about you. It's a soul rest. It's a soul rest. That's right. Yeah. And you know, uh, uh, faith is really not about you. <laughs> it's about God That's right. and what God has done. As soon as we make faith into a work and we make it into something that we do, mm -hmm. then we move away from the rest of God. And God's like, well, figure it out. Go ahead. But when you just from a place of sheer trust, sheer dependability, mm -hmm. sheer God's got this. I'm like when, you, you know, we don't talk about it every week, but some weeks we do. We, were, we just passed about the year anniversary where Christy was in the hospital and we were confessing the word. She was in the hospital and they with COVID and pneumonia and it was they told us it was she wasn't going to make it. Mm -hmm. And so we had to come together. You know, I, I, I stepped up and with her as much as she could. And we I read the word over her and do all those things. And whenever I felt like I had to do more, whenever I felt like I needed to, to exert more energy and, and I had to rip off some more strength in order to make this happen, the Holy Spirit would always pause me. Mm -hmm. He'd always tell mm -hmm. me, stop. That's good. Um, because his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Mm -hmm. So he's not trying to make you... Uh, he, he, faith shouldn't be something that's like, I've got to grab this plow and go and it's just hard. Right. And it's, effort and it's sweat and blood and snot and everything just no it's a it's a place of dependability and trust no god's got this and i speak the word because i know god's got this mm -hmm. and as i speak the word my spirit my soul my body comes into agreement with the word right faith is about god not us I, you know absolutely but when we can get to the point where we're rested yes 
that's a point where we know that we have made that connection, that yes. our mind is in agreement with our spirit. But if we do still feel like it's up to us, yeah. then where our mind has not come into full agreement with oh, our spirit great. yet. That's great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless that happens. It's not about us. That's, well, that, that's that, what we talked about last week about yep. falling from grace. Falling. Yeah. It's, it's not up to us. They work together, don't they? Faith and grace mm -hmm. work together. It's like God provided the promised land. They needed to enter into it yes. by rest. Actually, Hebrews chapter 4 is talking about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. They couldn't an enter into the promised land, the place of rest, because they kept their hands on the steering wheel. Right. They kept trying to make it happen in their own. They were worshiping false gods. They were doing weird, crazy things that God said don't do. Right. But if they just would have said yes, I mean, the key to the Christian life is presentation. The key to what you're believing God for is presentation. God, you said it. I'm here, I believe it, that settles it. Mm -hmm. Like that's it. And then you never come out of agreement. We talked about agreement, I think, last Friday, didn't we? And you just never come out of agreement with what God said in his word. And if you, uh, so they couldn't enter the blessing of rest right. and the promised land, what they were believing for. Mm -hmm. It was delayed because they were trying to earn it. They were trying to make it happen in their own right. efforts. But that's where faith and grace work together. There's a balance there. You know, the way we can stay in agreement with what God's doing is just to be thankful. You know, the yes. children of Israel, yeah. um, you know, God was supplying their need on a daily basis. Daily. He was providing water from rocks. He was, yes. you know, sending manna from, you know, yeah. the sky, basically. Bread was, on the ground. You know, was, <laughs> and they were still complaining. So a way that we can be thank or that we can stay in agreement with God's word and what God is doing, even if we don't understand, even if we don't see um, the end, even if we can't figure it out, sometimes it's not for us to figure out but just to remain thankful for what God said in his yes. word, to, to be thankful for what God's doing, yes. to be thankful for the things that you're about ready to see in the natural, because we have to understand that our fight is already finished in the spiritual, but we are just waiting for it to be manifested. So if you can understand that, then and to remain thankful in that, mm. if the children of Israel would have remained thankful, yes then they would have seen the promised rest. land. God's doing this. I don't got to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, you kind of got to get lost in Jesus when you're in the process. You know, there was a season of time in my life, in my ministry, I was wondering what was happening. It just was not going the way I was hoping and thought it was going to go. And I remember during that season when it didn't make sense, I just decided I was going to get lost in God. Mm -hmm. I mean, lost. Yeah. Like just spending time with him as much as I possibly could, just loved worshiping spent so much time in worship yes and, and really when you look at the the exes knows at that time of the ministry it wasn't great but my relationship with god, with god was never better mm. and that's the way it should be and could be and it was just a matter of time before all of a sudden everything switched and god just started growing and establishing new things in our ministry and things and it did come with when you're with christ when you're with god and you spend time with god how can you be with him and not thank him like if you actually are aware of the fact that you're in the presence of God and you're a believer, worship will flow. Mm. <laughs> so if you can just be there in his presence, that's a great way to rest. Look, here's our encouragement to you this Friday. It's a great time, right? Let go of the job, mm -hmm. let go of the ministry, let go of, of the family uh, responsibilities in the moment. The kids. Let go. What I mean is, I'm not saying be lazy and don't do nothing. I'm saying let go. Yep. Emotionally in your soul. Let go of it all. Exhale. Go ahead. Exhale. Get rid of all that junk and just tell God that you trust him. God, I'm entering into your rest. I trust you today. You got me. Absolutely. You know, we've been talking a lot about family this week, but you know, just when your kids are out there, when your spouse is out there, when your family is out there, you just have to trust that the Holy Spirit has them. Yes. That they are children mm. of God apart from us yes. you know it's not up to us as parents yes, to to control um what our kids do and what they don't do we have to trust God's that the holy spirit has them and he is the one that's in control enter into rest amen family on this yop friday <laughs> let's do our confessions one of my confessions coming up soon on a friday is just gonna be yop that's yop. it that's it that's all right ready <laughs> I rest and trust in you today, my God. I let go of every issue and trying to make things work myself. That feels good to say. Say it with us, everybody. I, I rest, rest and trust, trust in you today, today my God. God. 
I, I let, let go, go of every, every issue, issue and trying, trying to, make to make things, things work, work myself. myself. Hey, man, let it go. Drop the mic and just right. walk away from it. Man. <laughs> Confession two, by faith, I enter into God's rest by simply letting go. I don't have to care because God does the caring for me. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. So I don't care. I don't, care. I, don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> by faith. Are they ready? One, two, three. By, by faith, faith, I enter into God's rest by simply letting go. go. I don't have, have to care, care because God does the caring for me. me. What's up, girl? Hey, great show today. We're so glad you joined us. I hope to see you. If you're in the East Valley area in Arizona, come to Living Word Gilbert. If you watch the show and you're new to the church, never been there before, we'd love to meet you. Absolutely. Come say hi to us after yes. any of the services there, 930, 1045. We love you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you not only at church this weekend, get to church, but also at our church at Living Word Gilbert. Absolutely. Hey, have a great day. Wherever you are around the nation, just get into church this weekend. Like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you on Monday. See you Monday.